Uh, congratulations on the launch of The Naughty Nine. Uh, for starters, the movie is a lot of fun, um, and it's evident that there was a lot of fun happening on the set. Can you talk a little bit about um, what you guys got up to and and where you filmed to double for the North Pole? It was um it was it was really really awesome. Um, you know, it was a great set. Truly, just like super immersive. Honestly, like um, it made it really really easy while we were there. Um, and it was also really, really, really cold. Um, it was like negative 22 in Montreal. Um, so yeah, um, plenty of snow on the ground. Um, so yeah, most of, most of basically all you see is real. Um, and it was great. It was shot in Montreal, like, like Rizzo just said, and it was, it was a lot of fun because we have to build so many set pieces, right? Like the movie every, like maybe two or three, uh, minutes are in a new set. So it was we shot from a back lot where we recreated the you know Santa's village to inside sets to the, the interior shots and we use uh, some Montreal actual locations but very few most was built from scratch so which make it very exciting for for the creators behind it looks like there's also a lot of visual effects um can you both talk about working with reindeer who aren't necessarily there or uh you know or an aurora borealis sky that uh, that wasn't really behind you uh refracting that light I mean, it was it was uh, as much as we could. Like we did, you know, practical. So, for example, the the our borealis, we have these like humongous cranes doing this light that had like that vibe, you know, that to to recreate it to to have it in the kids and and the rain. It was uh, really was obviously a blue man, right? Like, but we make a point to kind of like recreate it, like they treat treat painting their heads and stuff. So, like when when the actress was touching them, it was like the right feel and the right size. Uh, but it's really like truly like Winslow and the rest of the cast are like amazing at having an imagination. They 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 just saw it. Even when we were on set and they were like petting, you know, like this like blue thing. You're like, oh, you know, she's like talking to a reindeer, or like where they were like going in, you know, the airplane or whatever. Like you're like, oh my god, they're gonna fall. Like they really are amazing uh selling that even on set without anything. So and Winslow can speak about you know acting how how he's able to do it. It can be definitely challenging um working with something that's not there course um but yeah it all just really does come down to imagination and um you know making that real to yourself so that you can make it look real for other people um so yeah it's um it was really cool though and I think um you know, you know obviously shooting the movie and and having what you imagine it's gonna look like and then um getting to watch the movie um and see what it actually really does look like the final product uh, is always really really cool and being that this was shot on location in canada um did that make for a, a special bonding time for the cast and crew were there a lot of um like fun nights when when the day wrapped um as a group there are so many kids on set and lots of people my age and lots of people that i could um you know bond with and make friends and so it was always really great um you know uh hanging out in the hotel uh after after work it was it was great now alberto it looks like you're already a big christmas fan um but was was making a christmas movie something that was always on your your radar as, as a thing you'd like to do with your career yeah i was i was i i'm from mexico so i used to come with my you know with my family sometimes to disneyland during the holidays so for me, like one of the goals was like a Christmas Disney movie, very specific. Uh, but then I got it, so I couldn't believe it, and and I had time of a life shooting it. But yeah, it was always like you know, like a goal that I had. So and the film is also a fun play on on kind of the classic heist. Even the name is kind of evocative of Ocean's Eleven. Uh, Winslow, was that a a film genre that you were very familiar with? Not many. Uh heist movies are made aimed at at younger audiences yeah I mean of course I've seen Ocean's Eleven and well I've seen all the Ocean's movies um I love them I think they're they're amazing um and of course you know heist movies are all super exciting and fun um so I think it's really really cool that uh not only was I able to be in one um but also be in one that's for kids um well not and it's really not just for kids though because I'm sure you know there, there's so many things in this movie um you know, especially the the action and the and the um you know all, all of that. It really, uh, I think it's something that the whole family can enjoy um, watching. So yeah, I, I totally agree. I hope uh, I hope all the families check it out this holiday season. And thank you both so much for your time. I appreciate it. Congratulations again. Thank you.